Hello, welcome aboard the USS Sawfish. I'm your captain, Rockin' Robbins. This will be the Airplane Avoidance and Handling Seminar. Welcome aboard. We'll not be risking the USS Kraken this time. I'm using a uh, boat that we were kind enough to lend me, so that in case we get blown sky high, my own boat will be safe, safe in port in Midway. Being rebuilt right now, repainted. So uh, let's go, shall we? I've been running around in the Gilbert Islands, uh, sinking a ship or two here and there. And in the meantime, we well, let's just say we allowed ourselves to get spotted by doing a stupid move. Here goes a uh, nice little airplane out of our uh, field of view, and we're going to be crawling, absolutely crawling with aircraft. So what we want to do is we just want to make our track go around in circles here. Let's extend our track a little bit just in case we go a little bit further because we are going to uh, just run around and see what happens. Uh, the point is I'm going to show you how to deal with aircraft. Uh, people are complaining there's too many. There aren't. People are complaining they're dangerous. They're not. And let's go play with them. First thing I do is I always run and about uh, we'll surface the boat. I run it about 11 knots on the surface. Why do I do this? I run it 11 knots because that's the most fuel efficient speed. I don't want to depart from that anytime I don't have to. I want to be on the surface as much of 100% of the time as I can because it's very important that your batteries stay fully charged. If your batteries are not fully charged during the time you're charging, you can run around on a third throttle, but your engines are running WFO, that's wide freaking open, and they are charging batteries and drinking fuel like a little kid drinks Coke at, the, at, a, at a birthday party there. So, and you don't really want that. We want to conserve our fuel. We want to be battle ready. That means we stay on the surface. A submarine is a surface ship that can sink uh, temporarily and only when it's necessary to preserve its miserable life and it stays down for the shortest possible amount of time surfaces the first second it possibly can. So here we are. We're going to be circling around. We're going to bump up our time compression about 1024. Oh, there's our first airplane. Look at him right there. See, he's going there. Now, our airplane can spot us inside of a five-mile circle, so here's a nice little five-mile circle right here. Let's put that around our boat here. Now, our planes around here have been a little more shop right than uh, they're supposed to be. Matter of fact, they've seen me from within six miles. Um, if we take a line, use our ruler here, take a line from his position to the outside of our five-mile circle, and we'll make it a little bit wider than that. And if he goes inside that line, we'll dive. Let's go to 16x here and watch the fireworks. Getting ready to go to periscope depth only if necessary. Here he comes. He's inside the line. We're going to dive to periscope depth. Actually, we're going to go just to radar depth here. And we're watching him at 16x. Oh, he's got a buddy behind him. Isn't that cute? And we went back to 1x automatically, so we'll go back up to 16x because we don't want to waste our time. Okay, we're down to radar depth, so we get to watch the guys go by. They're going to go by almost five miles away. No chance they're going to see us. Adios, adios. Notice we don't go down to 1x. We don't do anything. We're sitting here underwater, not using the periscope, not doing anything. And they will go away. And as soon as they go away, about six or seven miles away, we're going to surface the boat. No, we're not going to use the periscope. No, we're not going to do anything. We really don't need to. We are now on the surface, back up to 1024X. And we're going around the circle. Oh, it's more of them. It's more of them. So that's our first thing. Drag our five-mile circle, one of our, oops, one of our five-mile circles around the, around the sub. You have plenty of time. There's not any panic here. It's not a rust procedure. And he's definitely coming inside our circle. So we'll whip up to 16X. And oh, one more. We'll hit the peri We'll go to periscope depth right now. Now we've got a periscope depth. You're going to lose him off the radar. He's going almost straight overhead. So what we're going to do is call up the the um, the chronograph here, and we're going to count on five minutes. One, 
Two, you heard him go over. Three. Four. Five. We don't have to do anything. We can surface right here in perfect safety. And we just did. See, he's gone. And we'll go back up to 1024. And away we go. Oh, look, it's another guy. Now, this guy here is not a problem. Let's take a look here. Why is he not a problem? Because he's not coming within our five-mile circle. We can just whip our... Um, going up 32x here, and we'll watch him go by. Hey, he's right on the danger point there. He could possibly see us, but he's not going to. And he cruises right on by. We go right back up to 10, 10 by 4. And look, we got more aircraft. Now, you might think we're getting swarmed by a lot of aircraft, but remember, we're at a thousand X, thousand times actual time. Uh, so when we see them once a second, it's once every thousand seconds. Uh, we're, we're not seeing them once a second. We're seeing them uh, pretty infrequently, really. Due to time compression, it seems like it's a lot more often than it is. But you can see there's no problem here. I've never hit, never hit crash dive. I don't even look before I surface. I can surface in perfect safety because I have complete combat awareness. I have plenty of distance to see them by radar, so they're not going to appear. Let's see about this guy. We'll go to radar depth. Nope. Radar depth. Two little buddies. Come on. Go down. You can do it. And down we go. And we'll just watch them go by. Now I'm running with um, certain mods here. I'm using Webster's GFO mod. I'm using his uh, New Orders bar menu. I'm using our, uh, Run Silent, Run Deep for uh, Stock 1.5. Here he is within, within visual range. I'm not sure why he shows red there. Not quite sure, but he changed his color anyway because this is a stock game. We'll go back up to 16x. There he goes. See you, guy. And there's an outside chance he might see us here. If he does, he'll turn around and then we'll go to periscope depth. But he never saw us. Adios, amigos. And he's outside of five miles. Service the boat. Back up to 1024x. Yes, you guessed it. We're continuing our cruise. You'll notice we are totally being swarmed, and it doesn't matter, does it? No, it does not. We're not even leaving the map view. I'm going to go to 32x and watch this guy go by. And he goes by safely, and we go back up to 1024x. Oops, we get 1556. That's okay, too. We don't care. Well, now, what do we have here? Another fast guy. Notice that stuff is up there, and notice I never click on them. And we'll interrupt this for just a moment. And we're back. So what are we doing? We are trying to get this straightened out. Let me get my windows straight here. Okay, now we're ready. We got another, another plane on the way. We'll take our five-mile circle. Centered on the sub. Yes, he will enter the five mile circle on we'll the periscope depth and then 16x. All right, we'll go for five minutes. One, two, three. Surface the boat. And there he is. Guess what? Back to 1024. Yes, it is so dangerous. Now, what do we do here? Pop quiz. Five mile circle. He's not coming anywhere near. We're going to do nothing. Go to 32x and just watch him go by. Here he goes. 1024 again. Oops, what's going on here? 
Well now, same deal, I think. Let's get the eyeball out of here. Now, if this was TMO, I'd be drawing our line. Like that. And then I'd be watching him. 128, see, he's going north of the line. We don't have to worry about a thing. Notice we're already 128x because I knew there was no problem. But that's what you do when you don't have a uh, velocity vector on the airplane. You can figure that out for yourself. So here we are at night. 1024x, we're running around. We'll see if we develop a ship target. We probably won't. We're probably just playing with airplanes here. But that's the course of the video here. That's what we're doing. So around and around we go. And where it stops, nobody knows. Yes, sir. 1024x it is. Let's... Uh, Let's trace out a course even further away here. All right, around the circle we go. Calling all airplanes. Ah, we got one. Is that an airplane? Sure it is. I'm not sure what the circle is. I really don't care. He's definitely coming close, so we'll go down to radar depth here. 16x, we don't want to wait around at 1x. Really don't care. Down we go. Eh, he's coming straight overhead. Let's go ahead and go to periscope depth. And we'll, again, we go up here, wait one, two, six this time. Five. Six. Do we peek? No. Surface the bow. Adios, folks. And we just let him go. Back to back to 1024. Now these planes are so hard to handle. It's just impossible difficulty, you understand. No human being can survive this number of airplanes. Let's see. Evaluate. <laughs> We're just going to go up to about, there we go, and watch him go by, once he's at close to the approach, he's still going up, back up to, back up to high. Ah, this guy's going inside the five mile circle, I can see that already, but we're going to uh, move the circle just to, just to illustrate. Back up to 16x, go to radar depth. There he goes. And we're down and we'll see if they see if they change course. That was a little bit close. Oh, come on now. Hi guys, how you doing? Nice to have you visit the neighborhood. Service. Back to ten twenty four X. Really tough to deal with all these airplanes. Look at this. This guy's not even close. Just go back up to high. But another one that's not even close. Let him go. Back to 1024x, eh? Yes, sir. This game's difficulty is so high that no human being. It really is just. The game is cheating, is what it's doing. That's what it is. It's just too difficult. It's impossible to survive out here with all these airplanes. Draw the circle. He will just barely get to the circle, I believe. We'll draw our line, just to be sure. And we'll give him a little bit of uh, extra space, because these guys have shown themselves to be especially sharp-eyed. Normally, the five-mile circle is more than, more than you need. Um, in this particular spot in time in a war or whatever, the, the acuity seems to be a little bit higher than it normally would be. Let's go up, and we'll go to radar depth. And we're down there, and we'll watch him go by. We'll crank up the time compression. There is a bump. Guess what? 1024x. 
There's this guy. Okay, what's the assessment on this guy? I say he misses us clean. The important thing to do is not to be spotted. So you go to sn you go to snorkel depth, or this is actually uh, radar depth. I'm using a little mod of my own called TMO keys, which gives me a radar depth uh, button with the semicolon. Real nice to have. And there goes our guy. See ya. Wouldn't want to be a service. Back to ten. To back to fifteen fifty six. And around and around we go, looking for bad guys. It is so tough dealing with these airplanes. You can see you can do the whole, uh, you can do your entire cruise and never have to worry about an airplane. They are a non-factor in Silent Hunter 4. And we have a radar contact long range, headed away, and that's a ship. So we'll stop our video right now so you know how to deal with airplanes now. Five mile circle is important. Um, draw a line between the airplane and the outside of the circle. If it, goes in, if it goes on your side of the line, you can submerge to radar depth or periscope depth. If you do submerge to periscope depth, then he's five miles away. You can give him five or six minutes. He'll be that far the other direction from you. You can just pop up and surface. Don't even bother looking around. You never have to go down below, say, 16x uh, time, time compression. Uh, airplanes, uh, if they do make a run on you for some reason, like for instance you were not too bright, um, just keep on submerging. Their first drop is not usually accurate, and by the time they come around for the second run, you're underwater. Don't waste your time manning the any aircraft gun. The, the, you might as well point your finger at them and say bang bang. Uh, it's about that effective. Uh, they're gonna, if they hit you once you're dead, hey, you can hit them multiple times and not shut them down. So they're not worth fighting. Any aircraft guns are for drying laundry. So this is Captain Rockin' Robbins. This has been the the, uh, um, um, the airplane handling video showing you how to handle airplanes in a in an airplane congested area and you couldn't get much more congested than what we had right here you can see airplanes are not even a factor in silent hunter 4 thank you very much have a good day